Oh, sweet, you're here. I've been meaning to give you an update on the channel. I was talking to my nephew the other day, and he said, You need to make a thousand subscriber video. Well, that coincided perfectly with the change in season and the inevitable changes in the behavior of this young man from Louisiana. Hey, stop it, you two. This time of year, I tend to slip off into Louisiana's beautiful wetlands, swamps, and bayous. And you'll have a front row seat if you want to come along. As you may have noticed, there's some duck hunting videos on this channel. Those videos are far more about the people, places, and experiences than they are about taking the ducks. This whole channel was started on a whim. I bought a GoPro and wanted to record myself in time lapse building a duck blind. Over the past couple years and with better camera equipment, I kept recording the things I found interesting and the stuff I was doing. Now, I don't like being serious, and I'm never political. But for the people new to this channel that might not agree with duck hunting, let me very briefly explain my position. I love animals. Before I became a people doctor, I always thought I'd end up being a veterinarian. Hey, I wouldn't eat that. I love animals. Cruelty to them or causing their suffering infuriates me and it is completely evil. Just like the Native Americans, I feel the sting of that timeless paradox wherein someone truly loves animals yet provides for their family and eats meat as part of their human experience. But I always do it with the respect and dignity that is owed any creature that shares its breath with me on this planet. The truth is, I take home far more ducks with my camera than I do with my gun. And after my family has what it needs, I give the rest to people that I know in my community that could use a little help feeding their families. I'm a lifetime sponsor of Ducks Unlimited, an organization that's dedicated to the protection of America's wetlands and breeding grounds for this beautiful duck population. My point is that my efforts sowing far exceed my harvest, and that's the definition of sustainability. So if somehow you still feel this is reckless, immoral, or irresponsible, you're free to have that opinion. But I'd like you to ask yourself, how open is your mind? So while it's easy to lump people together and dismiss them, it's far more rewarding to see each person as an individual and enjoy what they have to offer. So on this channel, let's keep it positive. I'll be me and you can keep being you. And let's throw out the stereotypes. Because most Southerners aren't rednecks. Most Muslims aren't terrorists. And most gay folks don't think you're cute. I mean, they might. You seem like an attractive person. So that's it. You'll never hear me be serious again on this channel. We've got a lot of exciting things coming up. We'll head back to the shop and we'll finish out the ceiling. This spring, we'll do a full restoration on a 1987 Jeep Grand Wagoneer, the most beautiful vehicle ever made. We've got some very cool personal family stuff coming up. We'll make a headboard for the big kid room. I think Lo Hammy might review his tractor. We'll finally build a bridge for the donut troll and I can feel a battle for the neighborhood brewing. So until next time, be safe and keep it real.